Hello boys of class 6. Welcome you on an, another, another online class of science. I am Vichitra sir. We have already started term 3 that means final term syllabus. Today I will start chapter 12 that is origin and formation of earth. So let us start today's, today's chapter. Describe the origin of earth and universe. Earth is a part of universe where we live. Actually, this is the thing where all the living beings are staying. There are many stars, planets, satellites and astronomical body in this universe. There are many conventional stories about this formation of art and universe like in China there is a story about a monster which was born from a gigantic egg and from that there is this universe and other things forms from this uh, monsters limbs and other parts of the body amongst all the stories and theories the most logical and accepted theory with evidence concept was given by the scientist and that was actually like crores of years ago lump of hot and severely heavy but small body exploded vigorously and scattered in many direction so when a body exploded and that is hot enough it goes in different direction many direction then after this vigorous explosion a very small particle of substances converted into minute particle that particles becomes mini that means tiny particles and after several times that tiny particles become little bit cooler and cluster or together form a astronomical body in this process the sun stars and other astronomical bodies created after the explosion in one side minute particles were made and in another side it has been expanded the space because these minute particles were going in different direction and far from one place so this region has been expanded when after long time being that has been cooled down and form any shape then the region has been expanded so after that explosion energy space matters everything were created in this universe after the creation of sun the remaining particles were floating just like dust in the air is floating so these particles were known as dust particles and those dust particles were came together to form earth so this was actually the reason or explanation or incidence that how the sun and the universe is formed so this was about how the sun and earth and universe is formed now let us know some another thing about this now how we can say that there was an vigorous explosion let us know about that there are many conventional and theoretical evidences that universes has universe universe has created from the vigorous explosion there is also evidence that there was a vigorous explosion so after the vigorous explosion this universe and earth sun stars all things has been created or formed that has some proof but there was a vigorous explosion we have to sh prove that now so as we know after any explosion the particles become a bit cooler gradually and then the new particles are formed because it scattered in different places different direction and then uh, uh, during the 
explosion it was hot but after being cooled cool down gradually it forms new particles similarly after so many years still universe is expanding that is new astronomical bodies are formed so new when new astronomical bodies are found in the space that means it has been formed long years ago and now it has been cooled down and forming a astronomical body so this bodies found because of that explosion which held earlier few crores of years ago so as we can say this ex these astronomical bodies are found so there might be an explosion and it might be extreme because still it is expanding its areas that means that explosion was so big that the particles were scattered in very far so we can say the explosion was vigorous in this way now let us know about our main star that is sun and earth we live on earth which is a part of universe in this universe sun and the earth is and earth is most important for us because we are living in the earth which is a part of this universe and we belong to one galaxy which has so many stars and sun is one of them and uh, the name of our galaxy is milky way galaxy earth sun and this milky way galaxy is important because the living things are living things are exist on only earth in this galaxy and sun is the ultimate source of energy for this earth so that's why they are so important for us now let us know about sun every galaxy contains many stars our milky way galaxy is containing many stars among those sun is one sun has its own light that is why it is called star the definition of star is that if any astronomical body can emit its own light then it can be called star so sun is a star it has its own light which emits like other stars basically sun is a lump of gas that means it cluster of many gases and most of all there are hydrogen gas and other gases clustered there and huge amount of light and heat produced when these hydrogen gases were interact between each other this heat and light of sun is taken by other planets sun has some planets which are orbit it keeping a distance and sun at center that means sun keeping at the center and other planets orbit the sun keeping a say fixed distance from the sun but all the orbits are not same they have different we know there are eight planets of sun one of that is our earth now let us know about our earth eight planets orbit sun keeping at center and one of them is earth it is like sphere full of various gases but can produce heat or light like sun that is why earth is a planet it is not a star trees in earth produces food which is primary or basic food for all living beings and that food producing depends on sunlight so the light which comes from the sun now let us know about other things about sun like we know sun is at the center of the point or uh, orbit and earth revolves around the sun actually it revolves the sun within 365 days 5 hours 59 minutes and 16 seconds 
that is why in every four year if we add this total time we have one more day that's why it is called leap year on the fourth year every fourth year there is a extra day that is called leap year that is in the fourth year it's 366 days rest of other three years it is 365 days in a year earth is not revolving around the sun only it revolves in its own axis and it takes 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds to revolve in its own axis like other planets earth has a satellite which is moon so satellite is that which revolves around the planet so moon revolves around the planet called earth in 27 days and 8 hours earth is the only planet where existence of life is possible because there are more seven planet still scientists cannot find any evidence that there can be life in other planets but they continue their research and they are trying to find some existence of life in Mars so as in other planets it's not possible it's only possible in this earth earth was formed by the dust particles remained after the formation of Sun that was formed after the vigorous explosion then gradually there's dust particles cluster and bit cooler to form all essential elements for life like water and oxygen gradually heat released from the earth surface and light surface stays upper portion and heavy particles went towards the center after many years gaseous substance like water vapor creates C and oxygen methane and other gases stay in the atmosphere to form it shown of this air atmosphere so this is all about earth boys today up to this we will learn more things about formation of earth and in next classes we will know how our homeland earth is formed and different things on earth uh, earth surface and rivers are formed so go through these lessons after that stay fine at home study properly be careful about your classwork and homework submission do works on your classwork and homework that the teachers are giving or doing in the online classes okay boys so bye for today